سبيتا من ضمن جدول تدرب على الإنجليزية وتكلمها في ثلاث شهور أعطانا برنامج من ضمن هذا البرنامج فقرة إن إحنا نسمع إنجليزي استماع بدون ترجمة لا عربي ولا إنجليزي هذا الفيديو بغطي لك هذه الفقرة اللي تنمي عندك بشكل كتير كبير مهارة الاستماع تعال نشوف مع بعض حبايب قلبي اسود انجلش وسبيتا زي ما احنا متعودين هذا فيديو من فيديوهاتنا التمرين اللي جدا مهمة اللي بطلب منك تنسى كل الدنيا اذا عندك سماعات في ودانك بيكون نور على نور تحطهم معايا وتركز عشان تحاول تفهم المرة هذه أكثر من المرات الماضية فيش ترجمة بديك تكون مركز معايا لأنك راح تستفيد بشكل كتير كبير وإن شاء الله نحاول في كل مرة نجيب شيء ممتع تستفيد منه كلمات وأيضا قصة ممتعة تنساش تعطينا لايك للفيديو والسؤال اللي بدي أعطي لك إياه في تعليق Name two countries I talked about during my video Name two countries I talked about during my video يعني أعطيني اسم دولتين أنا راح أذكرهم في كلام اللي راح أقوله الآن بدي الكل يشارك تعطيني لايك للفيديو تنسى كل الأمة حواليك وتحط السماعات في ودانك ويلا نشوفها بعض Today I will talk about traveling this year exactly what I mean by that traveling during coronavirus or COVID-19 I'm going to talk about what happened with me or what is happening with me now right now Every summer, we used to book our holidays to go on vacation during summer between June to September. We go for two, three, or even four weeks in another destination to another destination where we spend our relaxation period, which is the summer vacation or summer holidays. All of us were looking forward to book our flights and the hotel or Airbnb, travel to another country or even the same country, and spend this period only to relax, relax, and relax. Normally, this is easy because we have so many countries where we can travel to, right? We can go to the ocean, we can go to Asia, we can go to Africa, we can go to America, South or North, or even to Europe and spend our vacation there. But this year is totally different. Why? Ah, because we have this crisis of COVID-19 or coronavirus. What happened? What happened exactly now, if you're living in some countries, especially in Europe, you're not allowed to go to any country you, you want as we used to or as usual. Why? Normally, I can go to any country whenever I want, wherever I want, however I want, I go, I come back, and that's all. No one asks me why or what or did and how, whatever. But this year, for example, in France, we cannot go anywhere we want. Because the, go the government in France said divided the map of the countries into three colors. Or let's make it easier into two colors. One type of countries, they marked it as green countries. And the other one is red countries. There are some other countries in orange. Now, what does it mean a country colored in the French map green, another one in red? It means, they told us, you can travel to green countries, the countries colored in green on the map, you can go to these countries to spend your summer holidays or whatever you want to visit this country. Anyway, you can fly to these countries without a problem because it is safe in terms of COVID-19 or coronavirus. There's no so much danger there. You can travel. There's no restriction at the airport. But there are a lot of places and countries that are classified in red area. They're classified in red. What does it mean? It means either you cannot at all go to these countries. Why? Bravo. Because there is a danger there. It is dangerous to go there because there is high level, high level of danger about or to get uh, this coronavirus or COVID-19. So the government said, be careful, try not to go and visit these countries. For any reason, do not go there because there is a risk on your life. Some other countries, they have been colored or classified as orange. What does it mean? It means that you still can go to these countries, you can travel to these countries, but on your arrival, on your arrival, I will 
On your arrival at the airport, the government will ah uh, will make will try to make a test for you to see if you have temperature or not, or if you have any sign uh, about the coronavirus. And if they suspect that you have the coronavirus, especially if you are coming from countries where it has been hit by the coronavirus, they will put you into uh, uh, confinement. Now, all that made two things difficult. First of all, to decide where to go. I don't know where to go because I don't have so many options to go to. And second thing is, the flights are expensive. To buy or to book a flight, it's almost the double, twice, or three times uh, uh, more expensive. Can you imagine? If I wanted, for example, to go, um, let's say, to Italy, I, I could, before, I could uh, buy a ticket for, from France or from Paris, 20 or 30 euros to go to Italy. Now, almost all tickets is over 100 euros. That is so much. It is too expensive. So that's why so many people in the European countries nowadays or this year, they will spend their summer vacation inside their country. Why? Because it is safer and cheaper. Safer and cheaper. I would have loved actually to go to Greece this year, but it seems a little bit difficult and complicated in terms of finding a cheap flight quite cheap flight, but as well to feel safe going away from where do you live. I hope all of you can spend a very nice vacation this year, enjoy your time, and I hope that you understood what I have mentioned. I want you to write down or name two countries I have mentioned during this video. Don't forget the like and wait for our upcoming video. Good luck.